Journalist. Investigator. Truth seeker. I'm Pete Walker, bringing you those local stories that really matter. You're listening to Pete on the Street. Today on Pete on the Street, we meet one of Witherling's unsung heroes. It's Witherling Grange caretaker, Malk Crisp. And Malk, may I just add that you have the most fantastic moustache. Well, I'll take compliment. A bit weird, but um, never mind. Hmm. Imagine Witherling to be a well-oiled machine with each resident representing a component part. Hey, what's it run on then, this machine? Um, uh, there isn't actually a machine. I'm just making a little metaphor, you see. Because if it's anything like this school, it'll be steam-powered. What? Uh, Steam-powered? No, there is no machine. You do understand the concept of a metaphor, don't you? You know, steam-powered because the amount of hot air that's in this place is a a joke. I'm making a joke. Oh, right, right. You were making a joke. (laughs) Um, A caretaker and a comedian are most commendable. Um... Hey, don't let me distract you from your metaphor. Well, quite. So wh- where was I? Uh, machines and cogs and... The humble school caretaker, a man working behind the scenes to ensure that... This is Mr. Yama, caretaker crisp to the boys' toilets. George just got stuck in them. <laughs> Again. Sorry, pal, I gotta go. Ah, huh, okay. Who are you? Who, me? Yes, you. And what are you doing in my school? I'm reporting live on Withling FM right now. Oh, so glad to meet you. I'm Headmaster Graham T. Yarmouth. We the really fantastic school here. Fantastic. Why don't we go over to my office and I'll tell you about all the amazing things we do here. I'm I'm really just here to interview Mr. Crisp about his job. Well, why would you want to interview him? We've some of the finest educators in the country here shaping the minds of our future leaders. Well, just cleans up sick. Well, that's kind of the point, you know. It's the unsung heroes. We don't want sung heroes. Oh, in that case, I'm the story here. You don't know how much shit I have to deal with. And do I ever get the credit? Oh, no. Not poor Mr. Yarmouth. It's lonely at the top, you know. Damn lonely. No, I don't really think it's the kind of thing I'm looking for. Great, I'm back. Oh, fantastic. Um, Catch you later, Mr. Barmouth. Hey, I've got a treat for you now. My new Super Sucker 5000 top of the range industrial vacuum cleaner has just arrived. Shall we go and open it up, gear a spin? Oh, it's a big crate. Ah, best they sell this. Yeah, but why does a vacuum cleaner need air holes? Oh, about bloody time. So which one of you losers in my new husband? Who are you? Oh, I'm Brigitte, who are you? Winner of ugly competition. Oh, you got proper big face, but tiny little features like you got Fate of egg or whatever. Ha, huh, you order me then? Me? God no, order you? I, what are you? Well, I'm mail order bride. What do you think I am? Woman who like hiding inside boxes. Oh, you stupid as well as ugly. Oh, it must be you then, big nose. What's your name? Malk. Malk Crisp. But I didn't oh, order. Stupid name that. But at least you better look him an egg face here. Malk Crisp. Oh yeah, that your name on delivery note. Hello, I'm your new wife. Pleased to meet you. Now give me money for 20 fags. Oh, you got a nice house. Oh, baby, bloody nice. I was just next at school, number 43. Oh, I think there's been a mistake. Oh, no mistake. You are the wife. Here I am. Keys, big nose. Come on, chop, chop. I have not got all day. Oh, uh, here you go. Oh, fag money too. Okay, here it is. Oh, that's it. See, wasn't hard. We are best marriage ever now. You see. See ya. I don't quite know what to say, Malk. That certainly wasn't a vacuum cleaner. It most certainly wasn't, Pete. I'm going to leave Malk to get back to the important work he does at Withling Grange School. Men like him really are unsung heroes. Attention, caretaker Crisp. Please report to the boys' toilets. George has become stuck again. And another thing, I've just received a large vacuum cleaner that was addressed to me by mistake. Uh, I believe it's yours. And if by any chance you received a parcel that was meant for me, is there any chance you could have it sent up here? Thanks. And let's keep this hush too. You're without.